Hi, let us discuss about curvilinear coordinate system. Curvilinear coordinate. So let me start with our regular usual Cartesian coordinate system. And Cartesian coordinate system is also said to be rectangular coordinate system. In Cartesian coordinate system, we have three coordinate axes, x, y, z axis. Let us represent this as x axis and this is my y axis and z axis, z axis. Now, if you consider this y, z plane, then in this y, z plane, the coordinate x is a constant. So, or also, if you consider this xy plane, in this xy plane, here z is a constant. So, this is z is a constant surface. And in the xz plane, y is a constant. So, y is equal to some constant. So, let me say, name it as theta. Then, x is equal to c1, y is equal to c2, and z is equal to c3 are three coordinate surfaces. So, we have three coordinate surfaces. Now, if you consider two coordinate surfaces, that is x is equal to c1 and z is equal to c3 coordinate surface, intersect at a coordinate line or curve. So, x is equal to c1 and the coordinate surface z is equal to c3 and the coordinate surface intersect either coordinate line and namely y in the y axis or they intersect at coordinate curve if we have a line we have a plane we have a plane x is equal to c1 z is equal to c3 plane is equal to coordinate plane now, if you consider spherical polar coordinate system or cylindrical coordinate system, then the coordinate surface in the intersectional line are equivalent. That will be, it will be a coordinate curve. Okay. So, this is the coordinate. So, this represents a coordinate curve. Coordinate curve or line. Okay. Then, if you consider a point, suppose there is a point P here, then a point P can be described by three coordinates, X, Y, Z coordinates here. So, the X represents the X component, Y is the Y component and Z is the Z component of the point P. And we can represent the position vector of the point P the position vector can be represented by, let me take it as position vector R. Then position vector R will be equal to X component into the unit, the basis vector I cap plus Y component into basis vector along that direction J cap plus Z component Z into K cap. So I cap is a unit vector along this direction, X direction. Unit vector along X direction is said to be I cap. Unit vector along y direction we take as j cap, unit vector along z direction we took as k cap. Then x is the x component, the point in the x component on x. Y in the point, e point p the y component on the y component, y component, this distance on the y component. Z component on the this distance on. X component on the e point x lake make in the distance in an animal x compound and arena okay so here i cap j cap z cap unit vectors are said to be the basis vectors basis vectors now in this case in the in the case of cartesian coordinate system the coordinate surfaces intersect in the right angle arm. if the coordinate surfaces intersect at right angle then the coordinate system. Then our curvilinear coordinate system is said to be orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system or orthogonal system. So if the coordinate curves, if the coordinate surfaces intersect at right angles, 
at right angles then we call the coordinate system to be orthogonal okay now so itri karyangal njan parnad general cartesian system namku already arayunnadondana now i am moving on to curvilinear coordinate system so first let us take what are the transformation of coordinate what do you mean by transformation of coordinates suppose the cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates of the points b x y z so x y z are rectangular coordinates of any point in space now this rectangular coordinates of any space of any point in space are expressed as functions of as functions of u1 u2 u3 so u1 u2 u3 ana nammude curvilinear coordinate systemile coordinates x y z ana cartesian systemile rectangular systemile coordinates then curvilinear coordinate systemile coordinates ana u1 u2 u3 these are the coordinates in curvilinear coordinate system and i am representing any point in space in rectangular coordinate system x y z as function of u1 u2 u3 that means i can write down x as a function of u1 u2 u3 y can be written as a function of u1 u2 u3 z can be written as a function of u1 u2 u3 and let me number these equations as equation number 1 okay now if i can solve this equation in terms of x y z that is if i can represent u1 as a function of x y z in the inverse equation so i need to do also u2 can be taken to be a function of x y z and u3 can be represented as a function of x y z that means i can the that is that means equation number 1 can be solved for equation number 1 can be solved for u1 u2 u3 in terms of x y z okay so these are my equation number 2 then we will assume that the functions in one equation number 1 and 2 are single values so there are two conditions the functions in equation 1 and 2 are single valued and they have continuous derivatives continuous derivatives now why we are taking these two conditions we are taking these conditions so that the correspondence between x y z and u1 u2 u3 is unique so the reason is the correspondence correspondence should be unique unique correspondence na unique correspondence sonnale corresponding to a point suppose i have a x y z coordinate system enikku or 1 2 3 enna point undu x y z coordinate system or point then idinu corresponding at spherical polar coordinate system r theta phi coordinates kaanumbo this one correspond in another point undu spherical polar coordinate system another value two corresponding at another value undavu three corresponding at another value undavu that correspondence unique aayirikanam one nilana corresponding at rendu value undavilla each that correspondence between these two coordinate system adhaayad ee or point ne corresponding at ivada or point undavum padullu more than one point undavirud correspondence should be unique so i am taking these two conditions okay now if i have a point p in rectangular coordinate system with coordinate x y z then we will associate a unique set of coordinates u1 u2 u3 in curvilinear u1 u2 u3 as the curvilinear coordinates of that point p so if i have a point p and x y z are the coordinates in the rectangular coordinate system then u1 u2 u3 will be the co the unique set of coordinates in curvilinear coordinate system okay 
and these two sets of equation are said to be the transformation equations of coordinates so these are the transformation equation okay so on simplify edittu nammal idu vare discuss cheyitha karyangal njan onnu paraya suppose we have rectangular number 2d two dimensional polar coordinates irukken x y coordinates now ivada thana namaku ee or point p undengil that point can be represented by uh, the x y the same point can be represented in r theta coordinates then this will be your r and we can represent theta also here theta okay then the transformation equation will be x so this is your x component idana nammude x component idana nammude y component so if i find out sin theta from here then sin theta will be equal to opposite side that is this is the opposite side y opposite side by hypotenuse r varum okay so y is equal to r sin theta and also if you find out cos theta cos theta is the adjacent side that is x so that will be x by r cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse so that means x is equal to r cos theta okay and now if i square and add these two equation then x square plus y square will be r square and if you find out theta theta that is if you find out a y by x then y by x will be equal to sin theta by cos theta that is tan theta so from here theta is equal to tan inverse y by x and also from here r is equal to root of x square plus y square now these equations and also these equations are the transformation equations in this case in the case of polar coordinates because ivada nan x ennadine r inde theta inde or function ait represent cheyidu ivada y is represented as a function of r and theta now here r is represented as a function of x and y and also here theta is represented as a function of y and x so these two equations aanu nammal ivada mugalil represent cheyida these two equations equation number 1 and 2 hi now let us draw the coordinate surfaces in curvilinear coordinate system so first of all this is our rectangular coordinate system or x y z coordinate system so this represent the coordinate axis of x y z so suppose this is my y axis and this is x axis this is z or z axis okay now let the coordinate curve u1 is this curve and this is u2 curve and this represents the u3 curve so now the u1 is equal to c1 constant coordinate surface is this one here u3 is equal to c3 surface and u2 is equal to c2 surface okay so this is u3 curve u3 curve and this represents u1 curve and this represents u2 curve and this is our u1 is equal to c1 constant surface and this is u3 is equal to c3 surface and this will be equal to u2 is equal to some constant c2 surface ee surface endonda u2 is equal to c2 ayadu c nammal nerthe cartesian coordinate system le xz plane le y aanu constant ayadu xz plane le y constant aanu similarly evada vannathu now this surface u2 irukum because ivada u1 ivada und u3 u3 this is u1 curve u1 curve um u3 curve aanu ivada ullathu so this surface il u2 irukum constant aaga okay okay so this is the curve general curvilinear nammude curvilinear coordinate system il nammude coordinate surfaces um coordinate lines um now u3 curve this coordinate line nu vidichu coordinate curve u3 curve u2 and u1 
now if the coordinate surfaces intersect at right angle then we call the this curvilinear coordinate system as orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system nerthe nammal ivide orthogonal curvilinear system define cheyidu but ivide namukku ariyam idu orthogonal aanu because they are mutually perpendicular angane aanu nammal cartesian systemile nammal coordinate surface define cheya now general coordinate systemile same definition if coordinate curve coordinate surfaces intersect at right angle then co curvilinear coordinate system is said to be orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system or orthogonal system 